The way you take down your protective style can either make or mar your lens retention. So stay tuned while I take you on this journey. You can bank on it. You can put a hundred gram on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Lele. I had my braids in for like one month and it's time to take it down. So during take down process, you need to have various items like your shea butter or leave-in conditioner, your water as well as white tooth comb, rosemary oil or anything in general that can, you know, have sleep on your hair. So this is just me basically applying it to my hair, right? Then ensure that you're very gentle while taking down your protective style because what is the need of growing your hair for like a month and you will lose the length because of your harsh way of taking down your protective style. So what I do is if there is any knot or if there's any product build up, I'll try my possible best to unravel it easily and gently. So as you can see, this is my length so far and I will keep doing this process till I'm done with the whole head right so this is just basically me taking my time it's better you take your time to take down your protective style rather than rushing or just you know yanking everything off and your hard work will just go to your waist so most of the time when people say oh their hair is not growing how is it that my hair is actually growing as fast as it is growing the answer to it is your hair is actually growing but you are not retaining as much length as I would. And the main issue is from your takedown process. Most of the time, you will take down your hair when it is very dry. And anything that is dry is prone to breakage. And once your hair starts breaking from the tip, definitely you will not see the length. So ensure you have everything that has moisture. So this is just me taking like... A reality TV show break it is the ultimatum you can check it out on Netflix so as you can see I'm going in with my water and you know just massaging it into my hair strands finger detangling it to avoid any form of tangle right ensure you have a white tooth comb close to you don't have anything like rat tail comb when you're taking down your protective style except if you want to use the tip to loosen your hair other than that don't use it to comb your hair this is just me you know repeating the process and putting them in twist anytime you detangle a section of your hair ensure you twist it up or you braid it up don't mix it up with the one that you have not detangled it would help you reduce shedding as well as the risk of breakage so this is just me you know going over the whole process over and over again one thing about detangling your hair on your takedown session day is that it will help you to minimize a whole lot of things so for instance if your hair usually break often once you detangle it gently on your takedown day it would reduce the amount of breakage right so i just hope you are jotting the tips and everything you need to know about your takedown process initially i usually make the mistake of detangling my hair when it's dry taking down my protective style hurriedly like i was not you know having as much care as i ought to but now that i know better my takedown session is more seamless and straight to the point so anything you do any effort you put into your hair you will definitely see results if you don't put in as much effort don't expect to see so many results so this hair length you are seeing as taking effort as taking time as taking consistency as taking the right products so i could not continue the takedown process and i had to move it to the next day this is just me chilling because at this point i cannot stress myself too much although i I have taken down virtually everything before I, you know, picked up my camera to record. But yeah, I had to do it the next day. So this is just me unraveling a 
it as you can see some of my hair are still in twist while some are not in twist reason being that when i was loosening them i just left it like that without twisting it up i have not yet detangled those ones that are not yet in twist so i'll be doing that in this video so can you see how luscious my hair is looking ignore how it's looking it's looking so crusty i know but you get the jack so this is just me you know packing the one that i've actually detangled and i'll focus on the ones that i have not yet detangled so this is just basically how i take down my protective style i try to be gentle i try to be consistent with my product i try as much as possible to have a spray bottle with water water is very essential in your hair care journey if you don't have a spray bottle try as much as possible to get one it will save you a whole lot whatever you want to do concerning your hair don't detangle dry hair your hair will break like no man's business i am hammering on it because i have had the experience and i don't want you to have the same experience right ensure you get a spray bottle or you improvise with something that could spray water on your hair there is no excuse on this page right so this is just me you know basically doing like the same thing taking care of my hair putting shea butter and all if you have a leave-in conditioner you can use it just anything for moisture so this is just it ensure that you like share subscribe to my channel because a whole lot will be coming on this channel i am actually your favorite hair coach i'll be posting hair content i'll be posting how to grow your hair very well how to retain length the products you use diy treatment and so on see ya Lele, oh, then they call me bank cause i walk around with the bank on it show them gangnam style